Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I will share you guys the simple question about navigational chart work that commonly asked by the Ramco during evaluation, master and officers. The question will be around the chart symbols, especially chart symbol used on Saudi Aramco field charts, passage plan, and also the chart correction. Well, let's go to the sample of question. What is the meaning of BA and SUR chart? What is the difference? BA is British Admiralty chart and SUR is Saudi Aramco chart. The BA charts are published by the British Admiralty and SUR charts are published by Aramco. Aramco chart have more detailed information than BA chart. And the Aramco chart should be used when entering and leaving port and at all times when working in the offshore field. The chart correction comes from the respective sources and chart correction for Aramco chart are received sooner than correction for PA chart. Okay, next sample question. Where to find chart symbols for lights, water depth, nature of bottom, etc.? Well, uh, we can find those information from Admiralty chart and publication number uh, 5011. And for oil field symbol, we'll refer to chart symbol provided by the Aramco. Okay, next, knowledge of chart symbol. Well, you need to have a knowledge of chart symbol. Sometimes the examiner will look at a chart and point out various symbols and ask you what they mean. He will expect you to know what is the meaning of that symbol are. It will be include the abbreviation for like characteristic. For example, the symbol of FL.Y3S. What is it? It means the light with the flash yellow every three seconds. Well, uh, he might ask you what the seabed is made of. For example, on the chart it may read CO, which is an abbreviation for a coral, and S, it's abbreviation uh, from sand. You, you will also need to recognize the dangers indicated on the chart. Okay, next sample question. What is precaution to be taken while preparing passage plan in offshore? Well, a passage is to be defined from N to 500 meter safety zone of all offshore structures. For vessel entering and leaving in the fields, the passage to be defined from N to VTS fields boundary limits. The passage plan should not entering any 500 meter safety zone of any offshore structure in the field. The passage should give a minimum 1,000 meter clearance from any shallow water paths or area. The passage to give a clear minimum required distance to ongoing project at open sea and special facial operations such like diving, ROV, pipelining, survey, etc. The passage plan not be to be entering anchorage area designated in and out of the fields. For vessel proceeding to and departing from the anchorage areas designated in the field, the passage are to end and commence outside anchorage area limit. Passing or crossing over any pipeline should comply with the UKC rule. It is 5 meters above the pipelines. Okay, well, next this uh, practical passage planning. The examiner should require master or mates to plotting course on the chart from one place to another place. In this case, just remember about the minimum UKC crossing of a pipeline, the safe distance from offshore installation, shallow water, etc. You may be so long round, but ensure your plotting course comply with those requirements. Remember UKC is chart depth plus the predicate tight and minus by present draft is minimum 5 meters during cross over pipeline. Okay, that's all the sample question about the navigational chart work. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.